good afternoon students today we shall discuss the different classifications of uh, additive manufacture so the uh, additive manufacturing are classified as uh, liquid polymer system discrete particle system molten particle system and solid sheet system so the additive manufacturing technique the manufacturing of three dimensional model is done by either of these techniques so any one of these techniques we shall see the first one liquid polymer system so here this is the widely and popularly used material system using this liquid polymer 3d systems developed a first commercial system using stereolithographic process so in liquid polymer system the 3d model or 3d object is manufactured by using stereolithographic process so stereolithography it is the first ever process developed in rapid prototyping field with the meaning of three dimensional printing so this was the first method developed in order to manufacture three dimensional uh, models or uh, printing a three dimensional um, material it was developed and patented by charles hull in 1986 this method builds plastic parts one layer at a time by concentrating laser beam on surface of liquid photopolymer so we shall see how does uh, actually the ma um, 3d model is manufactured by using uh, stereolithographic process so this process has four main parts a tank that can be filled with liquid polymer a perforated platform that is lowered into the tank an ultraviolet laser and a computer controlling the platform and the laser as shown in figure so in the figure we have shown uh, the basic uh, components a computer a laser beam uh, liquid uh, polymer concentrator and a laser beam and a uh, arrangement to elevate the platform elevate or uh, make down the platform so th this is the basic uh, uh, component uh, stereolithographic process have so in initial step of sla process sla is stereolithography a thin layer of photo polymer is exposed above the perforated platform the uv laser hits the perforated platform painting the plat pattern of the object being printed so uh, here the <coughs> it uh, creates the object which has to be uh, printed this method is done by concentrating uh, uv laser uh, making it hitting on the perforated platform that is on the uh, liquid polymer uh, solution the uv curable liquid hardens instantly when the uv laser touches it forming the first layer of the 3d printed object so when the laser uh, beam falls on the liquid uh, um polymer um, it suddenly hardens and uh, uh, creates the three dimensional object uh, which has to be printed once the initial layer of the object is hardened the platform is lowered exposing new surface layer of liquid polymer here the uh, three uh, three dimensional solid particle is lowered inside the solution and making uh, um, new solution exposable for the uh, laser beam so the laser beam again traces a cross section of the object being printed which instantly bonds to the hardened section beneath it so again a fresh uh, liquid polymer layer will be um, exposed to the laser and it again uh, traces the uh, area of cross section again that area of cross section becomes hardened and again that uh, layer it moves down inside the uh, solution and this process is repeated again and again until the entire object has been formed and is fully submerged in the tank so uh, the process is repeated uh, continuously until the full layer or three dimensional entire model is manufactured and it is um, completely submerged in the liquid polymer tank the platform is then raised to expose a three dimensional object after it is rinsed with liquid solvent to free it from excessive resin the object is baked in an ultraviolet oven to further cure the plastic so when the uh, three dimensional model is manufactured it is uh, removed out of the so solution um, and if there is any excess uh, resin it is removed and it is allowed to bake inside the three dimensional oven 
so here also this is also baked uh, in order to uh, make the three dimensional model harder it is subjected for baking that is it is uh, kept inside the microwave oven for some predetermined temperature objects made using uh, sla usually have smooth surfaces but the quality and of the object depends on quality of the machine used to print it so the quality of the three dimensional model which is manufactured depends on the quality of the machine if the quality of the machine is good the material manufactured also will be very high and if the quality is uh, normal then the uh, three dimensional model manufactured also will be of normal quality the amount of time it takes to create an object with SLA process depends on the size of the machine used to print it. So if the um, size of the machine 3D printing machine is bigger, it will print the uh, three dimension objects at a faster rate. And if it is smaller, it takes some more time to print the three dimensional objects. Next, we shall see the advantages of uh, stereolithography this method so it is a round the clock operation that is we can uh, do manufacturing of 3d model as and when we required that is we can manufacture for 24 hours so we don't have any um, limitations as um, in case of other manufacturing methods we can manufacture uh, 24 hours uh, or any time we want good user support so the um, Modeling uh, software has good uh, interface. It uh, it provides uh, better quality products. The good accuracy. The accuracy of the uh, three-dimensional models uh, manufactured is good. Next, uh, it has good surface finish. The surface finish of the three-dimensional model which is manufactured is best, better and uh, it is good. Wide range of materials. So we can use this uh, SLA process, stereolithography process to manufacture uh, a wide range of um, materials. That is from general purpose materials to special purpose materials. Next, uh, it requires uh, support structure. So the disadvantages are it requires uh, support structure. That is, um, and the three dimensional model is being manufactured it requires one support uh, structure inside it and also if there are any uh, grooves inside the model it is difficult to manufacture it requires post processing that is after manufacturing there is a need for the processing of the, the object to be um, manufactured that is it requires some uh, additional extra work like uh, cleaning, removing from the um, liquid solution, uh, removing the excess uh, resin and uh, it requires some extra post-processing work. Next it requires post-curing that is after manufacturing uh, the three-dimensional model has to be cured in an hot oven, microwave oven uh, so that the three-dimensional model completely gets hardened and it becomes ready. So it requires uh, uh, curing for some specific periodic duration. Next we shall see some advantages of this method. Applications. Applications of this method. Models uh, manufactured for conceptualization, packaging and presentation can be manufactured by using this method. So this method we can use for manufacturing models that are used for conceptualization, packaging and presentation. Next, prototypes for design, analysis, verification and functional testing. So the models required for these purposes also we can manufacture by using this method. Next, the uh, 3D parts for uh, prototype tooling and low volume production. So if the production rate uh, required is low of low volume, then we can use this method for uh, manufacturing 3D objects. Next. Patterns for investment casting, sand casting and molding. So we can create patterns also uh, for investment casting and sand casting. So uh, we not only uh, we can use this method for manufacturing three dimensional models, 
but also we can use this method for creating patterns or sand casting uh, in order to manufacture a real 3d components so uh, this method can be used for preparing um, molds or uh, casting or uh, sand casting methods so these are the various advantages and applications of the uh, stereolithography process thank you guys